Um, then we move on to financial feasibility. Mm-hmm. So, and, and this is one that business schools love to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, financial feasibility, again, is, is about ensuring you have considerable cost, and therefore linked to operational feasibility. Have you costed through? And I talk in the book later on about the optimal process setup of how you run your business. Because some people still have the assumption if you run a business you need to have premises. And that's for some people very difficult to get away from. That you can start off at home, that you can start off in your garden shed, that you can start off doing it temporarily through market stalls, through music festivals, to get a, a feel for how this business can work. And therefore the financial feasibility is to identify through the operational analysis already, what do various steps cost me and how can I actually finance them? So in a way it is the detail of how you operate it and secondly it is the detail then of how much time does it take you to break even and then start to make profit and take a salary. And that's an important bit of the financial feasibility to get right and then again linking back to the personal part how long am I willing to wait until I make really big money? Yeah. 